Welcome to the Apple AppCast. This is AJ Cates, and today we're going to be reviewing an application called Delicious Library. You know, this application allows you to organize your movies, your gadgets, clothes, anything else that you could find to uh, collect. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, open up the application. Um, well, basically, this application, uh, you know, you have a standard sidebar and, you know, your view. And the view's kind of cool because it makes it look kind of like a shelf. I'm going to go ahead and make it smaller. As you can see, it has, like, the iPhoto slider right there. Um, you know, you have different kinds of things you can have in your library. I'm going to go ahead and uh, create a shelf. I'm going to name it Test Shelf. I'm going to add it. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, stick something in there. I'm going to see. Now uh, you can go ahead and add something by hitting the little add button. And, you know, I could search for something. I'm going to search for something. Um, goodness, I always wanted one of those. Fisher Price Kid Tough Digital Camera for Girls. That is so me. What they? Oh. No, they have a blue. Yeah, I'll go with the girls. Hey, look at that. And it appears right there. As you see, it puts like a little glow around them. Makes the things kind of bigger when you click on them. Kind of cool. The application does seem to have some redrawing difficulties. It seems to stutter. It might be be because I'm recording a movie. Um, now my toys. I can go ahead and drag it over to my test shelf. Now I can see my uh, pretty pink camera. So you can see it fills in uh, the details. You know the retail price. Um, now you could buy it from Amazon. You can read uh, reviews of the items, you know, similar recommended items. You know, I'll, I might want to get the case. Now, as you see, it added the case to my test shelf. And over here in my toys, it appears as well. Um, it automatically pulls in your iTunes music, which is really cool. Um, you know, but it... The details on it will only pull in, you know, what you filled in. Uh, let's see here. I'm gonna go ahead and um, you know, add in smart smart shelves. You know, a friend. I'm gonna go ahead and add in uh, my buddy Nathan. Add. Hey, there's Nathan. And I wonder if Nathan can have a drill. Hey, it looks like Nathan is borrowing my drill. Hmm, that bastard better get it back to me. Um, you know, so it allows you to keep track of what people have borrowed and other stuff like that. Um, you can add in a blank item. Uh, I'm sure you can drag a picture to it and go find you one. See here, click on uh, pictures. Give it a nice icon. Ah, there we go. See, it took the picture just fine. You give it a title. Um, testing item. Oh, lots of different little sub items. It's like an address book, but for your items. And then add in my description. Best item. Ever OMGs. There we go. Um, now that's basically delicious library. You got this little edit button. You know, let's say this book. Let's say you want to edit the details, and you don't. It's not VHS tape. It's Betamax. Now you can edit that, and it'll save it to your computer. Um, it does have web publishing. I'm going to go ahead and hit publish now. 
As you can see it's publishing. I'm not exactly sure where it's publishing currently, but it is. Ah, and I've pulled up uh, my desktop. Go ahead and open up uh, the index.html, show you what it looks like. See, it builds you a little uh, web page of items. And the uh, last feature I'm going to review is a uh, barcode scan, which is very interesting. I'm going to go ahead and delete this. Watch what happens when I do hit the delete button. It burnt it. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, click on this little eyesight button. And there I am. Hi. Um, now I'm going to find my book. Oh, here it is. And watch as I hold it up. Hold on. Come on. Come on. Ah, there it goes. See, it, it just uh, added it. It found an error on the other barcode, but it's all right. And it filled in all the details and stuff. So you don't have to go through, sit there, and type in all your book's name. It might be faster because trying to juggle your book in front of the camera can get kind of difficult sometimes. So you may just want to go add and just start typing in book. Um, you know, I saw a really cool one on iPhones, you know, I started making iPhone books, and I've been looking to get one, I'm not sure of which one to get, um, I kind of wish it allowed you to kind of like browse around on Amazon, instead like you hit the more info and it loads up Amazon.com, because, uh, you know, there's this big library of different items out there in the world that I want to see. Maybe I want to get, you know, I would like to see a wish list fe feature in this application. Uh, and it currently does not have that. It's kind of hard to separate items you've bought and items you haven't bought. Uh, but besides that, it's a really cool application. It uses lots of cool little effects. Um, you know, it has searching. I'm going to go ahead and search for running Linux, and it pops up. I kind of wish there was a way to view all of it. Well, maybe you can. Ah, oh, yes, you can. You just hit the little library thing. Um, your iTunes, your friends, you know. I wonder, maybe if I double-click it? Well, maybe if I just stick it back in tools. Yeah, Nathan no longer has my drill. Thanks for returning it uses like a little pegboard, you can go ahead and switch views here, but 8 out of 10 I give this application, no wish list, no browsing, you know, Amazon features, and uh, you know, that concludes the Apple AppCast, this is AJ Cates, please leave a comment, um, also please tell me what kind of apps you'd like to see reviewed, and thanks for watching.